All right. This is Tyson with HHO for Life back again and wanted to share another video with you. Um, this time, what I'm going to do is I attach some tin foil to the ends of this wire, of the, each wire. And that's going to provide a larger area for the current to flow. And it doesn't arc anymore. It actually it creates hydrogen and oxygen bubbles with, I believe it's an AC current. Um, which I would imagine there'd have to be some DC current flowing through this transformer in order for it to split it. But, I don't know, maybe it works with AC current at high voltages. So, I'm going to get tap water from my sink here. Okay, so, it is tap water, hold on, just in case you didn't see it, let's do it again. Okay, look, nothing but tap water, I'm bringing it over here, and I'm setting it on the countertop. Any of you skeptics out there? Oh, better try to show it, okay. Now I'm going to stick the anode and cathode in the water. I'm going to make sure that they're submerged all the way. Okay. And that they're not touching. Okay. They're not touching, they're submerged. And here we go. Check this out. Hydrogen and oxygen bubbles. Let it clear a little bit. Try to show it from different angles so that we can see. See it differently. All right, you see those bubbles? Let's see if we can get it from the top. No, it's not gonna work very well from a top view, so let's do it from a higher view. Okay, so that is what happens when you increase the surface area with high voltage. It produces the hydrogen and oxygen bubbles. Um, once I get a container to keep this contained and to store all the gases and have the proper anode and cathode set up in there um, to where it's safe, then I'll light everything. Um, I'll light the bubbles that come off of it. But you can see some of them sitting right there. So. But that's it guys hope you enjoy it as always comment share your ideas subscribe um, let's keep this thing going the more people that work on it the better off we'll be um, one other note that I want to make real quick is this does draw more current than I would like um, so I am going to increase the voltage what I'm going to do is I'm going to get multiple transformers and connect them together to increase the voltage. This is actually a 2100 volt transformer, I believe. Um, and so if I get a few of those and connect them in, you know, I think it's connect them in series um, or parallel. Which one? Anyway, I'll do both and see. Um, but I'm going to increase the voltage. Um, I'm going to try to get up to like the 10,000 volt range and see what difference it makes with the same plate size. Um, because I've the thing is, the higher the voltage is, the lower the, the current draw is. And I can say this because if I was to plug this electric power cord directly into this outlet without the transformer, it would trip the breaker instantly because it draws so much current. Um, with the transformer, it does not trip the breaker as fast. It, it, it trips it after about, I'd say, like maybe 40 seconds just because it gets hot. Um, and so I do need to get like a pulse width modulator so I control the current flow um, 
and and then I can have it pulse so it doesn't get as hot. Um, so those that that's where I'm going from here. Increase the voltage. Um, check it with the same size of these little aluminum plates and then see what kind of a difference the plate size makes as well so all right guys well that's all for now this is tyson with hhl for life have a good one